Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila, and in today's video, you'll learn some essential Figma shortcuts that will increase your productivity and will allow you to work more efficiently. Uh, these are my own personal recommendations, and I use these all the time. So let's begin. So we're in here in Figma. The first thing I want to show you is how to uh, find out all the keyboard shortcuts that you can use. So in the bottom right corner, you'll find a button for help resources. Click that and select keyboard shortcuts. Or if you're on Windows, press Control Shift question mark. And that will bring up this selection right here. And it's going to give you a couple of essential ones. But then you can go into each individual category and see all the shortcuts that are available. And the cool part is right now they're all kind of grayed out. But here's something cool. If I press, for example, V for the move tool, see how it turned blue? That means you have used that keyboard shortcut. Uh, all of these are grayed for me right now because uh, this is not my main workstation, so I don't use Figma on this computer. But you'll see that as soon as you start using these shortcuts, they will be highlighted in blue, which is pretty cool. Now, let's start with the most basic ones. Uh, to create shapes, I use R for rectangle, L for line, O for ellipse. And that's really simple to remember. Just uh, think about the shape that you're creating. And then the letter O. T I use for text. And F for frame. Once you get to learn these, it's going to be so much easier for you. Now, let's actually say that I have these elements here. I'm zoomed in. And I want to move around my page and see various elements. Well, you can do that with the uh, hand tool or H. So you can press that, click and drag to move around. And then you would switch back to any other tool you are using. But there's a faster way you can pan by using by holding down space and dragging with your mouse. This is the same as using this tool, except when you release space, it the, the tool that you have currently selected at that time stays selected. So it's really simple. Just hold down space and drag to pan out. Really cool. Now, the next uh, shortcut is for setting the opacity on a given element. For that, you can select the numbers from 0 to 9. So 0 means 100%. 1 means 10%. Let me just change the color here. 2 means 20%. And you can see that Figma tells you the action that it took. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 again for 100%. Now, you saw just now that pressing two numbers in rapid succession for 5, for example, we'll set the opacity to 45, 23, 56, 78. And this is different from pressing 7 and then 8 with a delay in between them. Those will change the opacity to 70% and 80%, but pressing 7, 8 will set it to 78%. Now, what about zooming? You can zoom in and out using the following keyboard shortcuts. Shift 1, and this works for both Mac and uh, Windows. So Shift 1 will zoom to fit. So it's going to have all of your elements fit within your canvas. For example, if I draw another rectangle here and I press Shift 1, it's going to zoom to fit everything in my uh, canvas or in my viewport. If I delete this and I press Shift 1, it's going to zoom to the remaining elements. Shift 2 allows me to zoom to my selection, whatever that is. There we go. 
and shift zero will zoom to 100%. And you can also change the, uh, the zoom value from here. You can also zoom in and zoom out using the plus and minus on your keyboard. So plus will zoom in and minus will zoom out. You can also hold down control on Windows or a command on Mac and use your mouse scroll to zoom in and out, just like that. Or you can press Z and hold Z and just drag over a specific area to zoom in or Alt Z to zoom out. Now, let's talk about nudging and resizing with the arrow keys. This, these are shortcuts that I use all the time and they are super, super helpful. So basically, let's uh, get rid of uh, some of these elements here. Nudging means moving an element in all directions. You can do that by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So up will move the element up, down will move it down. Same story for left and right. Now this will move the element one pixel at a time. If you hold down shift, it's going to move it 10 pixels at a time. Now to resize an element with the arrow keys, you need to hold down control and then use up, down, left, right. So if I hold down control on Windows or command on Mac and the down arrow key, the height will be changed. So look at the height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's 10 pixels. I can also hold down control and shift at the same time. And that's going to resize the element 10 pixels at a time instead of one pixel at a time. So I can change the height using up and down, and I can change the width using left and right arrow keys. Really, really simple. Another uh, keyboard shortcut that I use is auto layout or add auto layout. So if I have two elements like so, and I want to add an auto layout, I can select both of these and press shift A regardless of, uh, of the platform. And that's going to automatically add an auto layout. If I want to group these two elements, I can select them and I can hit control G on a Windows, command G on a Mac to create a group with the two of them. Now, another very useful keyboard shortcut is the one for the color picker. So let's say I want to match the color of this ellipse with the color of this rectangle. Instead of just selecting this, copying the value, selecting this, pasting the value, a much easier way is to simply select this element, press I to bring up the uh, color picker, hover over the element that I want to select, click, and I'm done. Moving on, let's talk about search. In Figma, you can press Ctrl or Command slash to bring up the search menu. And here, you can do a lot of things. For example, fire up a plugin, like um, Unsplash, for example. This is a plugin that I have installed. Uh, maybe, I don't know, hide the UI. You can do that from here. So basically anything that's in the menus and can be found, you can type it from here directly, which is very, very helpful. So again, that's control or command slash. Another keyboard shortcut that I find myself uh, using very often is showing or hiding layout grids. And layout grids, if you don't know what they are, they're um, Figma generated grids that allow you to define columns like this. Now, it's really important to have a handy keyboard shortcut because you don't want these on all the time. The only time you want them visible is when you're aligning elements to them. So instead of um, just clicking on the artboard and 
clicking this little button here, which is a two-step process, you can simply hit Control Shift 4 to hide or show that layout grid. It's really very simple. Now, if you have a document with multiple pages, it's really easy to switch between them using the page up and page down keys on your keyboard. Another keyboard shortcut that I use all the time is duplicate. So for example, if I have an element here and I wanna duplicate it, well, I can simply select it, hit Control or Command D, and then move it in its respective position. Then, if I immediately hit Control or Command D, it's gonna remember that position and continue duplicating that, uh, that element using the same spacing, which is pretty cool. So duplicate, Control, or Command D. And you can duplicate groups as well. It doesn't just work for uh, elements. Finally, the last two keyboard shortcuts I wanna show you are for aligning horizontal and vertical centers. So let's say that we have a couple of elements. The traditional way to align these would be to select them, go up here, align vertical centers or horizontal centers. It really depends on what you wanna do. But in Figma, it's much easier to use the Alt-H or Alt-V keyboard shortcuts to align the horizontal and vertical centers respectively. So that's really simple. Alt V to align the vertical centers or Alt H to align horizontal centers. And this works in both Mac and Windows. All right, and those are the keyboard shortcuts that I use to work more efficiently in Figma. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, this tutorial was uh, useful for you. I'm Adi Purdila, and until next time, take care.